right, so what do you do? <laughs> um, Laser cat. This is the moment. All right, I tie the rope around my waist. Okay, cool. Uh, There's a second floor. Uh, um, not accessible from the grand ballroom. You have to leave into the foyer. The way this oh, is all organized okay. is like really confusing oh. because I always had this impression that the staircase was at the back of the ballroom, so that when that's you're what walking, I always they, picture with the yeah, ballroom. <laughs> that's why. All right. This new okay. drawing, like completely. I mean, it's not new, but because I had it in my mind, what the ballroom looked like. Because I thought it looked like the Grand Ballroom in my Call of Cthulhu game. Oh, yeah, no. So I was like, huh. Hmm. The staircase is, like, actually outside what do I in do? the foyer. Because Which... I don't... I don't want to side with Alloy. Might have to. All right. Well, I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt and see what result I'm I get. I'm certainly not siding with that, though. I don't agree. It's a 20. Not natural. Oh. An, but, un, an unnatural 20. But if you can chain it to, like, all five dudes, how think, awesome would that be? I think that's the worst kind of... <laughs> well, I did, there's 20 damage. Here, I've got it ready. I, I'm going to find it faster than you found it. The caster releases it. Okay. <laughs> the caster releases a single lightning bolt aimed at one target to which he has line of sight. The bolt has a range of 50 feet from the point of origin origination, which can be anywhere within 50 feet of the caster. So basically... Bolt does 46. Yep. That okay. sounds good. Who do you zap? I'm wondering. Yeah? I've dealt with some magic. Yeah? I've thought some things. Yeah? Is it possible that if I point the lightning bolt at the magic circle and try and emblazon it with the lightning bolt? No. No? No. Okay. No, I can't channel it into it and cause it to... In, in generally mixing spells in any fashion is bad. Like, that'll cause magical explosions or phlogiston and disturbances. A of course, you could call it explode. A magical well, explode? anything could happen, really. There's Ooh. actually a table for this. You could kill everyone in this circle simultaneously. You or could also you could summon back chance. like 20 spanish. You Ooh. could also you get could come thrown... up with a lightning template. You yeah, could, he you comes up as get... back as a lightning elemental. Yeah, you could exactly. also get thrown into a parallel dimension of which you're trapped there until the end of time. That sounds I'll... pretty sweet. I know. You might not have to crawl on the ground. Like I'm say, <laughs> my own dimension. The risk you're taking here is killing your character if you do that. Okay. Um, that's a possibility. Okay. So do like, it. Read. Do right. it. So, okay. I'm not just session. lightning bolt a fall. I'm not going to lightning bolt do a follow. It. I hate alloy. I'm lightning bolting this alloy. Wow. Whoa. This is going to confuse okay, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Do they so all have, have to make to a make... will save to be confused Screw enough that they lose an everyone. action? Everyone. He has to make a reflex save versus 20. Uh, yeah, no, that's, it's just gonna hit. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be so weird. Now, did, did you roll the hit before you decided on targets? I just... I know, well, yeah. Is, Choosing targets well, is the you, second part you, of casting. That's not right. You roll spells in BCC first and then it's, hit targets. It's a little because different. Because variable. Because I roll it, it could be one target. It's a magic joke. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> that's a 15. 15. So 15 lightning bolt damage <laughs> to number two. So it goes flying forward and hits that orb, and as the lightning bolt hits the orb, a jolt of electricity jumps around the orb. It's like, Shh, and you see Aloy's face go, and it like contorts, and different parts of it grow oh. in different variations. <laughs> and then it goes, ah, and then it almost looks as if the orb, where it had kind of a chrome finish, liquid-like state before, mm -hmm. suddenly goes, Shh, and like hardens, <gasps> as if it's solidified. And it now, to now, oh, I've already used shatter for the day. But you might be able to just hit it with the hammer. And then, oh, yeah. can you just... and then the face dissolves from the orb, and the orb goes, thunk, and hits oh. the ground. Just this one? Yep. Oh, that's handy. As in, it isn't moving. And yep, it, it seems dormant. Be... Ooh. I wonder why Lalos had that spell. Wow, uh, it's really good that I rolled that one. Oh. Yeah. So now this is <laughs> super twenty. Now it's super confusing. So now Joven is the tiebreaker yeah. because so <laughs> up, upon seeing that the the two other orbs turn towards Merrick and they go and they go death to this foolish wizard. All right, um, I activate my rope. Well, you, I, you can't. You, you turn. Oh, so okay. you you know who I'm going to side with. Me. Well, we'll find I'm out. I'm gonna side with the side that didn't kill your honor. You got you got eleven, right? Yeah. Okay, then we'll find out because it's your turn. Datho, you better have a good argument for why you killed your honor. Oh, jeez, we're gonna. Split. Or else, I kill you here. The only thing as I... as judgment, as your sentence. I did what was necessary underneath my beliefs. If you have to fight me, Svenis was dangerous, and he was our. He he was. 
our only hope of destroying him once and for all. <laughs> you seek to control him, and yet you clearly cannot handle it. I sought to control him before the paradigms did. And the alloy goes, silence. Too simple? Yeah. Oh, okay. He cannot be controlled. <laughs> no, he can't. But he can be. And then alloy go, and then you hear this little boom, this like chime come out from alloy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. No, oh, cool. never mind. You hear this chime come out for Alloy, and Dalek goes, yeah, and like shakes it off, and he goes, he can be absorbed. Tell me, Joven, have you ask, ever asked yourself why we call ourselves the vestigial keepers of Lauer? Not once. And no. Dalek like throws I his have. hands up. Dalek like throws his hands up into the air and goes. <laughs> He's not that kind of cleric. Yeah, our God. <laughs> Lauer was partially devoured by this metallic monster. That's why mm. we're going to any lengths to stop him. Why do you think it is you haven't seen Alloy's faces out in the city? It's because he doesn't have enough power yet. He doesn't have enough juice. He needs to absorb more powerful entities, like a fully formed pissed off soul of an ancient dead wizard. And Alloy goes, Joven, remember that everything I have done, I do for the safety of the city. If you side with the Keepers, you side with the faction that only wishes to bring death and destruction upon the world. Or you side with me. I don't believe that the Keepers wish to bring death and destruction. And I don't believe that what you're doing is for the safety of the city. You're because just, uh, no, none of your actions have have been towards that end. The city will be safe. You can say that I over in, and over again. The city will but, be safe when I am in control. When I finally have enough... What do you... The, he you took just, the two oh, yeah, off yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, dormant. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I, want, I don't want to be attacked. Unless, unless it's relevant it's where it is. No, it's fine. Okay. When I finally have enough power to sustain myself across the city proper and begin... The second phase of my plan. Then Lear will become safe and become the grandest city of all time. Will Lear become safe like the people in this room? Frozen? And unable to live their lives? And Aule looks around at them. How and they goes, wish? They will go back to how they are after my spell ends. And you can't harm them in the current state they're in. Yes, but you control their lives, essentially. And that's not how things should be. It's how it exactly should be. Our telepathic communication is only between familiars. Yeah. So I can't directly communicate with Joven? No. How good is the transference? Like, how good are our familiars at well, translating I, I between... Thought you I thought you were saying it, it that, all like, depends on which normally, familiar you choose. It'd normally be fine. Like, pr it'd be pretty easy to transfer to ideas. Like, Freya could tell, whisper things in his ear between you and Gears very right. simply. But right now, you can't seem to reach Gears. Probably because you're caught in a time stop. But well, I can no, reach you, Freya. You can talk to me. I can't talk to you. Is essentially Well, you reach Freya through Gears. Oh. So, like, if your familiar can't be reached, then you can't reach Freya. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, you can't uh, telepathically contact Gears? I thought it just wasn't here, but... Yeah, I thought I just couldn't reach... I thought his connection with... Percival was severed, but you said we could reach our familiar. You could reach the familiars before you got caught in this room where time stopped. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Look, just, just lay to. it all out there, man. <laughs> All right, this I, is I'm where just, we, this is okay, where we just gonna, put it all on the no, table. I may as well use a soliloquy right uh, now. Alloy actually, like, firmly, he seems to be, like, getting pretty wrathful for for a moment. Before before you continue, he, like, yells and booms across the room. He goes, I am the supreme law of this city. Hey, hey, cal calm down. I've seen Galadriel do this, and it didn't work for her either. So, now, <clears throat> remember. It would have worked. She just never took the chance. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I... I've been trying, as a street urchin, people try to intimidate us all the time. It's like, oh, you're just another big bully. So we have huge bully resistance. So the thing that I'm going to communicate is that, look, we cannot say for sure right now if it is for good or for ill that Alloy brings peace to this land or not. But one thing is clear. The Keeper's plan is precarious at best. If 
Savannah's returns, whether he returns fully formed or as malformed Savannah's, uh, <clears throat> one thing is clear. We barely hung on with all the keepers. If he starts picking them off one by one, we are going to lose this battle. These little weird eye worms, eye slugs, whatever these things are floating in our eyeballs, there is no... I don't think we can hang on to this. And if we release Savannah into the world and we lose our grip for one moment, mm -hmm. it is certain end. It's not going to be any... It's, it's not going to be any different than if Alloy gets a hold of him. Alloy, that, if, you, if you are correct for what you've said about Alloy, he or it is still quite a bit away from moving towards taking over anything. He can't leave this room. And one of his balls is now like... A dead ball. Whereas, if he actually makes good on this plan, he may actually have good plans. But your plan, your plan has already demonstrated that you are not afraid to kill off a servant of Necro to bring about your plan, and you had no sure thing. You thought these analysts would control him, and half of us almost died trying to hold on to control for just that one moment. But it almost worked. It was this close. Oh, it is not the same. Merrick interfered. You wanted for revenge. There's no point in revenge. No amount of anger is going to bring them back. It's not just revenge. It's stopping what's growing here. Don't you see what Alloy is? It's the end. If this thing gets big enough, it can take over the entire world. You are blinded yeah, by vengeance. Vanis is what Alloy needs. So just... The destruction of Svanis is far, far more permanent of a solution than taking control of him. But then we can't destroy Alloy. The threat Savannah's of Alloy absorbing our, him. Savannah's was our last vestige of power to cling to, to have enough energy to wipe Alloy out. And you ruined it, you idiotic! We have enough power ourselves to end this. Yeah, look at how big he is. You must join us. He's like in 10 men. Fight. That's my power. Your motives are true <laughs> and, and justifiable, but your methods. You're actually too exhausted. Lack this person behind <laughs> Lack, leave much to be desired. <laughs> the one that's For a cleric of wisdom, you lack very much of it. You know not the enemy you are up against. I I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Dude, just choose neither. First, I think, no. That's my option. I've been, I've been instructed to destroy your organization, and I've been dis instructed to destroy Alloy. Of course you have! Wait, who instructed you to destroy Alloy? N destroy the f the um, paradigms. Yeah. So Alo, Alo looks down and goes, hmm. hmm. Well, you've already succeeded there because one of the paradigms has been eaten. <laughs> and well, by by extension, I assume that involves parallax or whoever was behind the paradigms. Alloy or whatever. Were you instructed to destroy the paradigms by natural? Yes. Okay. Also, didn't the natural the natural is. Don't you also destroy the keeper? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Netro instructed him to infiltrate, basically to infiltrate and to wipe out from the inside out. All these other four gods. Oh no, just no, these two factions. Just these, just these two factions that he's that he's been in. But, like, yeah, yeah. I'll, Are I'll you a that. baddie? No. Are you a bad person? No, bo Is both Netro these both these god? people are trying to seize control of the city for their own ends, not uh, for the people's ends. Oh, okay. Whereas they, they, Alloy, Alloy is attempting to convince us that he's doing it for the people, but nothing he's done has proven that. Mm -hmm. He's just said it over and right. over again. And the keepers don't even don't they even they have the illusion. They, they just, just want, want power. power. Yeah. I think So neither of these sides is thought. good. Oh. Except no. neither of these sides. You have mostly already keeping. taken down the paradigm as it is. If whereas these guys just were revealed to you for having betrayed you and what's Iran. what's the lead keeper's name again? Datho. 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 If Datho, you join us in destroying Ally Alloy, whom you feel so much hatred towards. Dude, I'm right here. <laughs> yes. Alloy is, staying, <laughs> Alloy is staying quiet. I would He's forgive. I would forgive you. Your transgressions in killing Urano. Excellent. Then scratch out the summoning circle and give me back Savannah's power. No. I can wipe him out right now. You what, fool! What makes do you, you think, not listen? What makes do you, you not think? learn? Scratch it out. He'll come back as a malformed mouse. And Dathel pulls Daedriel's dart out of his neck and throws it on the ground in frustration and goes, 
Do you know how many months I've spent in research over old dusty tomes trying to determine exactly how likely it was that we could control Savannahs? I made a plan, I took a chance, and it would have worked if you hadn't thrown a monkey wrench in the plans. Wipe out that circle and let me destroy this abomination once and for all. I can handle it, along with the Keeper Network. We can all handle it. I have no I reason planned to trust everything you for that, this though. moment. No, you can't. Well, it all comes down to this decision point, I guess. What do you do with your turn in this combat? Because if you wipe out the circle and give Datho back the power... I will not do that. Then your only other option Datho, is... Datho, I will defend this circle with my life. Then you're a... Svanis will not be rejoining us. That is, that is not an option. Too, far too dangerous. You should leap into the circle and stand there. And hold off. Can I do that without, like, messing it up? Um... I'd probably have to make, like, a ton of reflex saves. No, I'd, I'd, I'd say... I'd say you're, like, standing right next what, to it. Okay, so maybe I could, say could, I, could I stand it? over it? What is the it? circle... No, no, sorry, yeah, yeah, you like, can stand over it. I, I move to stand red over threat. it. It's, it's like... Oh, it's, it's red? Yeah, it's so it's someone just went, like... Yeah. So so yeah, I'm hot? going to. Yes. So it would have to be like. It looks like hot. it's sewn into somewhere. Oh okay. I'm all going right, to assume right. a, a defensive stance. I I want to guard this from all directions. This summoning circle. And I I I will not have Spanis absorbed by alloy alloy, and I will not have it con him controlled by you. And uh, alloy and Datho like both look at you, and then they both start laughing, just like they both like crack up laughing, and and Datho goes. <laughs> I, that's what, that's weird. What can one pathetic servant of Netro do? And Alloy goes, Oh no! Oh no, you did! Did you just insult Netro? Yeah. Oh my god. And and yeah. and, and Alloy well, goes, Teenage rage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Alloy, Alloy you're, goes, You're a new follower of Netro. That's, that's right. Joven, there is no reason for us to be enemies, but you know that eventually I will have to break that circle and bring Savannah's back. I need him to finish my plans. Nothing you have done has been for the good of the city. You can't stop me. You can stand in that circle until you die of starvation. Eventually, I will outlast James, you and break the circle an itself. Oh, we it, must send the circle Datho to a place says, where they can't break it. Eventually, oh, can you? you will fail. I imagine that because you the aren't stones? Strong Netro will sustain and me. I am more than myself. Your bowl <laughs> you might be <laughs> able to teleport <laughs> your God. the circle away. Your God... Cannot sustain you. I beg to differ. I will attempt to banish. Creating alloy. a paradox. You're gonna banish Put alloy. I'm gonna banish right. alloy. Oh, well, this is probably just solved. It's not your turn yet. Oh. Um, fifteen. Total. Yeah. Okay. That's enough to like push him away. Do something. Don't approach. Um. Don't come near me. I will. I want to check the book. Okay. <laughs> You knew this was going to happen, or we choose neither side. We've never chosen no, a side. No, they're both bad sides. I, I, I bad didn't. Guys. That's the interesting thing, because I didn't, I didn't know quite what your characters would do and how you guys would interpret the information I presented. See, I, I never choose sides. That's, I only that's choose That's the funny thing, my because, because even not choosing a side is still a choice. True. And that comes it with is. its own problems. It does. It does. Um, I was hoping that... It's, it's, it's really troublesome <coughs> for these oh, two, because it's like... Because I choose... I never want to... You know, side with any of these bozos. We have to fight both. Get out of here. Uh, for the I next turn, the, page. the target the must make a will save to approach within 30 feet of me. If Ooh. failed, it cannot approach any closer than 30 feet, nor can it hurl missile weapons, speak in my direction, <laughs> or otherwise take action against me. Okay. Oh my gosh. If, for if forced <laughs> within 30 feet, it takes damage each oh, round. Wow. So wow. This, this wave goes out from you and just goes, woof, and these orbs get pushed back. So they can That's only exactly attack it by talking to the wall? Yeah. Because yeah, they, they can't talk can't in his direction. In my direction. That is hilarious. The orbs get slammed back on either side, and they go, <laughs> just as you say, Netro will sustain me. And they just, <laughs> and Dathel, like, puts his hand up over his face to weather the wind, and he goes, <laughs> All right, Joven, you're one step closer. Now scratch out the circle. Never. Ah! All right. If if the one thing you wish is for for Alloy not to grow stronger, why bring back the source of power he wishes to consume? Uh, that makes no sense, Datho. So, so the, 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 you are clearly not a follower of wisdom. <laughs> you are a follower of hatred. 
And vengeance. So many themes. All right, so it's Alloy's move. Alloy can't speak in your direction. He's shoved off to either side, and then basically one. Holy of, crap! They're far. <laughs> one of them, no, thirty feet is this is like it the is whole a room. Long way, yeah. One of them, one of them facing the wall goes. So be it. I was hoping you all could be of use to me, but you're proving to be more trouble than you were worth. I'll just kill everybody here. That's the simplest solution at this point. No, big that words. is not a good solution. It's what I would do in his shoes. And he does nothing else with his turn besides that. Oh. All right, he just mumbles into the wall. No, he, he, says, he says it out loud. <laughs> I mean, thanks. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. I'm I a cute barely, I'm a cute I can barely like, hear him because he's you guys. I was you really know. hoping that this would be like the Star Trek thing where the confusion of the paradox no. of the multiple decisions would cause Parallax's logic circuits to search short circuit and it just like does not compute, does not compute. Uh, the fact that, only. that he's only appeared in this small like representation of Alloy and he hasn't like been drawing more sentient metal pieces of himself. Oh yeah, it means is, like the means, true means bits like of that him this not that this lot. may yeah be, be all that be the extension of, of his uh, <clears throat> manifestation. So you know what'd be funny? We managed to protect the circle. End of the campaign, we start <laughs> we just build a, a society <laughs> where it's like we cannot let anyone break the circle. No, no, what no, we <laughs> and pour concrete over it, make it into a cornerstone for a new society that we build over this one, and, and then we bury it in and the, then years. Fine. Um, what is it? An archaeologist will call me like, What's this? 